Mobile gaming is great. Every day technology is improving and graphics are getting better and better. But there's just one tiny flaw in playing games on your phone, the on-screen controls. They take up half the screen, get in the way and are generally just not as good as physical controls. That's why today I'll be showing you how to connect your Xbox 360 controller, Xbox One controller, PS3 or PS4 controller to your Android tablet or phone. Let's get started. Here's what you'll need. One controller. This can be wired or wireless, but it's a bit easier if you have a wired one. I have both a wired and wireless controller, so I can show you both ways. For PlayStation controllers, the process is exactly the same. An Android tablet or phone. Unfortunately, this won't work on iOS phones. You don't need to be rooted. A USB OTG cable. This is the most important part of this setup. Don't worry if you don't know what it is. I'll link it in the description for you to buy. It's extremely cheap, but it will come in handy for lots of things as it lets you connect a mouse, keyboard, pen drive, or any USB device to your phone. And lastly, if you have a wireless Xbox controller, you will need a wireless receiver. I really recommend getting one of these because it lets you connect up to four controllers and works with your computer as well. I've made a tutorial for PCs which I'll link in the description along with places you can buy the receiver. Microsoft make an official version which is more expensive but the eBay and Amazon versions, which I use, work fine as well. Once you've got all the stuff, you're ready to get started. First, plug the USB OTG cable into your phone using the micro USB side. The next step will be different, depending on which controller you have. For a wired Xbox or PlayStation controller, all you have to do is plug the USB into the OTG cable. The lights on the controller should come on, letting you know everything works. You don't need to install anything, just get a game, I'll use GTA, and start playing. It's that easy. If you have a wireless Xbox controller, plug the receiver into the OTG cable. Hold down the Xbox button on the controller, press the small button on the receiver, then hold the sync button on the controller until it starts flashing. Now you're ready to start playing games. This setup is great for shooter games, driving games and platform style games because it lets you use the entire screen for the game without those annoying on-screen buttons blocking the view. I found this controller also works at controlling the general Android interface which is pretty awesome. You may have noticed I haven't mentioned using a PlayStation controller wirelessly. That's because those controllers require root to work and is a much longer process. I recommend using them as wired controllers because all you have to do then is plug it in. So that's it for this video. If it helped you out, leave a like and subscribe for loads more text videos and tutorials like this. Any problems, leave them in the comments and I'll try and help you out. Thanks for watching.